Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Another reaction video of the day. Another reaction video of the day? What does that mean? I'm not quite sure, but it does mean we're having a reaction video. So, no need for panic. Just relax. Take a few deep breaths. Just relax. You're not going to die. Right now. I mean, you will die. You may be murdered by someone with uh, a machete. You may be hacked into a meat salad by some crazy person with a machete. Hard to say. I mean, you may be murdered in the streets or in the privacy of your own home. It's hard to say. Really. Thumbs up. Life and the sensation thereof. Anyway, though, this is Block B with the song yesterday. This came out just uh, like a couple days ago or a few months ago or couple years ago. I'm not quite sure when this came out, but still, it should be good. I like K-pop. Now, I haven't had a lot of K-pop days lately. I'd like to have Monday being a K-pop Monday, Friday being K-pop Friday. I've been crippled with for a couple of reasons on that. Number one, YouTube isn't searching anymore. I don't know what the heck the matter is. It doesn't matter what browser I go to, but if I call up the community page and I t it's got a search comments bar up there. No matter what I do, if I use Opera, Firefox, Chrome, if I go to my community page and say search comments, no matter what I type up there, I hit search, it just refreshes the page. I cannot search my comments anymore. It just does not happen. It just refreshes the page. So I can't search my comments anymore. Does anyone else have that problem? I. I mean, I'm sure that someone must, but it's just, I don't, how do I even find that? Uh, Google, YouTube doesn't search? But anyway, so I don't know, but I'm not able to search the comments, so I can't go looking for like K-pop, but even just looking through the comments without even searching, I haven't had K-pop suggestions for weeks. There used to be like Dr. Boom, who would come out with a whole bunch of uh, K-pop suggestions, and I don't see Dr. Boom anymore. I feel very sad. I've lost all my K-pop people. Nobody wants to see K-pop. Nobody cares about K-pop anymore. And I do. I do, and I lost all my K-pop viewers. I know I haven't. A lot of people have said, we're still here. We just don't say much. But if you don't say anything, then I don't have any K-pop to choose. Luckily, though, somebody did come up and say, hey, you know, uh, how about Block B yesterday? Yeah, because I have terrible search skills, and I can't remember the names of the group. So if you people don't suggest anything, I'll have, like, reviews of gum wrappers or something, because I, I'm going to be stuck. I, I get all of my video suggestions that my reactions from the comment section. So if you guys don't comment, make suggestions, then I'm gonna start doing reactions to gum wrappers and walls and uh, reacting to uh, my feet. But anyway, that's just me being in despair. That's all. This is Block B yesterday. Now I don't, oh my nose itches. I don't follow a template anymore. I used to have a template where my intros and my outros were the same, you know, minor variations thereof. But I don't do that anymore. This is the year of living dangerously. Now I'm just sort of rambling. And then uh, we start the video at some point. Now I do want to say though that because of my fibromyalgia, my brain damage from my alcoholism, my treatments with cannabis, my short term memory is shot. Because of that, if I don't say what I think, what I think it is gone so I can be quiet and respectful during the video and then I got nothing to say at the end nothing in which case I'm not going to upload that I cannot pause the video and just you know continue after I'm done talking because I talk so much the logistics between that syncing that up would be a nightmare I would just cut out huge chunks of the video like most people do and I don't want to do that I like showing my appreciation for the entire video so this is a system that works for me, talking over the top. It may drive you crazy, but it works for me. So thumbs up on that. So this is Block V, yesterday. So let us watch, let us listen to, let us enjoy, and at least in my case, let us react to Block B right now. 
Hello. Oh. Oh, this is quiet. Oh, God. The... I had the volume up way too loud. It's got a rolling volume control on the keyboard. I can never tell what volume something's going to be at until it starts to play. Some things are quiet, some things. murder. Ah! Cheating. That must be so weird, that big change in technological society, because most writing that I know of uh, through most Asian countries is, is like this. Or various directions thereof. It's not like the standard American left to right, left to right, left to right. So it's... But when you go from this to having to go like that... I mean, that is a major cultural change because of a technological thing. They're very silly in this video. Very slapstick. Little, little, uh, do they have the tinier shops like this a lot over in Korea? Where it's just a little bit more than a room? I mean, I mean, I know we have little tiny shops like this here in the U.S. everywhere as well. But they don't usually look quite so uh, modern. Makes me wonder. Cultural differences are amazing. I love seeing the differences between various types of cultures. They can be a shocker when you run into them, but, well, 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 they're all quite fascinated and taken by this one gal, aren't they? It's a very cheerful song. Fresh dressed? Wow. They have odd little names. I wonder if that's a real name. I know a lot of places use like English in their titles all around the world. <clears throat> Both, I guess, for tourists and because it makes your uh, business seem a little more exotic. That's why people will do like uh, use stuff like that in the US where they put, you know, foreign words into the titles of like restaurants and all that. So you go, ooh, that sounds exotic. So that was pretty cool. That was very cheerful, very bouncy. I like that song. I know I, I didn't spend a lot of time analyzing much of anything. I don't spend a lot of time analyzing stuff on K-pop because I don't understand the lyrics. I just take it as a whole. I treat the uh, lyrics and the singing as another instrument. The human voice is just another instrument. It's amazing. I mean, we have our own systems of barks, growls, coughs, and grunts. And these barks, coughs, growls, and grunts can make beautiful music when used properly. A wonderful instrument, the human voice. But just remember, all of our talking here, it's just like when you see dogs barking and all that. These are just our barks our grunts, our coughs, our growls, our snarls. It's just we've figured out how to communicate with amongst each other with them. Pretty cool, huh? When you think about it that way. This is our barking and growling. <laughs> and we were able to convey meaning with it. Isn't that cool? I think it's awesome. Humanity is amazing. I just think it's too bad that, uh, especially here in the U.S., we are on a race to destruction. And it's, especially here in the U.S., we double down on stuff like that. I mean, back in the uh, mid parts of from like the 1900s to the 1970s, the United States knew that lead was bad. 
and we knew that lead was bad it was bad for you and so the united states doubled down and started putting lead on everything that's why we have such a huge lead problem in the united states when we knew that lead was bad we said oh it's bad all right okay we'll start painting everything with lead and so we did we started painting bridges buildings everything with lead even though we knew it was bad for you we doubled down on it now we've got a billion dollar per year problem with it what does this have to do with that k-pop video nothing but but cool i really did like the video. oh yeah i was talking about the voice i liked the video a lot it was amazingly funny it was cute very cute not amazingly funny but it was funny and it was very cute i liked the music i liked the dancing i liked the instruments that was wonderful thank you thank you thank you for having come up and suggested a k-pop song in fact is your name here or did i get rid of that i lost that page i'm sorry i wanted to thank the uh, person who suggested that that was a good video i hope you enjoyed it even half as much as i did because that was pretty awesome if you could check out some of the links I've got down below, that would be awesome. Thank you so very much. I am moving, and while I do have the lion's portion of the money here, there is a lot more that comes up with a move, so if you could donate, that would be awesome. And if you could also toss me a like, that would be really, really cool. I do prefer uh, positive validation for my existence, so thank you. And if you could subscribe, that would be really cool. Only if you're ready for it, though. Pity subscriptions not needed or wanted. They're not good for me. They are really not good for you. They just clog up your notification until you finally go, why am I still unsubscribed? So, but if you're ready for it, then thumbs up. Glad to have you. Hope to keep you forever and ever and ever. Yeah make pies and salads out of you because hey even in hard economic times a guy's got to eat so thumbs up you take care have a great day today am i going to have another game reaction or am i going to have a, a a video reaction or what's going to happen i don't know maybe i'll be committing suicide on camera next it's hard to say but you take care i'll see you on the flip side and that my friend is a very good thing so you take care